Hello, my name is Jimmy Costello from the NX Product Marketing Team, and today I'm going to be discussing a few enhancements to the PMI Region Command and how these improvements can improve your workflows. The three primary improvements to PMI Region are an updated user interface, enhanced to emphasize required inputs, the ability to select non-planar curves for arbitrary region boundaries, and improved crosshatch for surface conforming regions. To look at these new enhancements, I'm going to take this coffee machine and look at an internal gearbox. I have specifically isolated part of the casing of this gearbox into a separate window. As you can see, there is a plane with a rectangular box in this new window. I have already projected this rectangle onto our gearbox casing. This is where I want to produce our first PMI region. To create a PMI region, I am going to select the PMI tab from the top of our screen and then select region from the supplemental geometry section. When I do this, the PMI region window opens and we can begin. The first thing you may notice when looking at this window is the drop down box at the top. Here we can select what kind of region we want to create. For this example, I want to select arbitrary so we can create a region using our projected curve. Once this has been selected, we are now prompted to select a face, curve, and point to place our new PMI region. Following these prompts, we can efficiently produce our region. Before hitting apply, one thing I want to take a look at is the settings option towards the bottom of the window. In here, we can select the type of boundary curve we will use, if a crosshatch is shown, and the style crosshatch that would be displayed. After these settings are all fit to our needs, I am ready to hit apply and view our PMI region. As you can see, the crosshatch effectively adapts to the face of our gearbox casing. This can be a very useful tool to designate areas of your model for a specific purpose. The last thing I want to take a look at is how we can replicate these PMI regions in a time efficient manner. To do this, I'm going to reopen the PMI region command and use the inherit option towards the bottom of the window. Before this is done, the type of region that is being replicated must be selected from the drop down box at the top. To replicate a PMI region, an existing region must be selected. After this is done, users are prompted to specify where the new region will be placed and then select the face it will be produced on. As you can see, the parameters of the existing region are automatically selected and set on the new region. In conclusion, in this video, we looked at some of the enhancements that have been made to the PMI region command. To begin, we started by creating a region from a projected curve. This was done using the arbitrary region drop-down option. After this, we looked at some of the settings that can control the region output, such as boundary curves and crosshatch options. And finally, we wrapped everything up by exploring a more efficient way to replicate our regions using the inherit region tool. I would like to thank you for your time and attention.